Hey guys, it's me. Yeah, it's not the typical video I post on Wilson Productions, but get the raw, uncut, unfiltered me today. I don't know if I'll upload this to YouTube. I'll think about it. This is going on Instagram though, so <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know. I think I had some sugar earlier, so I started croaking. It usually happens, but. Today's I'm Tarua. I'm not working, so I'm just giving you this video here. Uh, Yom Tarua is the Feast of Trumpets. Uh, it's the eighth one I've observed so far. And we just celebrate and hope for the return of Yeshua to come soon. Hmm. I hope he comes back soon. This world's going crazy. <laughs> now, now, don't say what I think you're saying. Um, uh, you know, Yeshua, it'd be great if he comes back some other time. You know, I just got this PS5, you know, like, I, I won't be able to use it. Well, I'd say going with Yeshua over you using a PS5. There's a TikTok reference for you. <laughs> yeah. Um, and some of you are like, oh, Ian, but if Yeshua comes back now, you know, I'm with this person that I really like. You know, I think I'm going to marry them. Well, yeah, I'd like to get married, too. I mean, every girl that I've come across, they've either, like, taken one look and then kept on walking. They've either done that or swiped left. So, yeah. That's an expression. I don't use Tinder. I never will. But we can just throw all that out because when we go to live with Yeshua, we'll all be fellowshipping together and we'll be living without pain, without suffering. No tears will be shed and we'll be in paradise with him i mean it's gonna be an amazing day uh, yeah that's uh happy yom Tarua to all of you um i figured today i could give an update on uh, what's been going on i know i haven't been uploading a lot uh last video i uploaded was back in july i've been very behind on it but there is more stuff coming do not fear um, we're going to be filming a parody sometime soon. Uh, all you Green Day fans are going to be mad at me again. Um, but, yeah. Uh, we're, we're doing more. There's like 10 projects I have lined up so far. Anyways, earlier this year, I walked into a situation where I was spiritually challenged in my faith. I'm not going to name the situation, but I was spiritually challenged in my faith. And I thought to myself... Am I understanding scripture? Am I really learning and taking in and absorbing everything that I get out of God's word and his scripture? And so I've just challenged myself to dig more into God's word. Um, every book, or try to, try to go through the whole thing, just like all over. Uh, I've read through a few books and written many things down. I've basically spam posted social media with cool stuff I found in scripture. Um, but yeah, I've been trying to do prayer more often. It is a very powerful weapon. It's a very good thing to do. I would suggest all of you take, I don't know, at least an hour out of your day to pray. It's really helped me. Not a therapist or anything, but an hour a day of prayer will change your life. But anyways, after this situation, um, I eventually felt led to make a video. Um, this video, I have not done any filming for yet. I am still working on the shot list, but... I have a feeling that many believers... Many non-believers and many people who call themselves believers will, <clears throat> excuse me, will not like this video that I'm going to do. It's a mixed crowd. I, I'm going to assume it's a mixed crowd that's going to watch it. But I, I know that some people are not going to like this video. Um, it's going to be titled His Voice. And its underlying message, its basic message is... Are we digging enough into God's word as believers? Are we really living out what we believe? 
it asks questions like, um, if we're if we have this salvation and this hope, how are we sharing it with the world? And if we have this faith in Christ, are we working out basically? Um, faith without works is dead. That it brings up that question: Are you working out your faith, and are you sharing the message with the world? Um, it asks, are you trying to blend in with the world or are you trying to stand out and live for Christ and walk as he walked? It asks the question, what is sin? Do you know what sin is? Um, I have an, I have an answer to that question if you want it. <laughs> Look at 1 John 3, 4, you'll find out what sin is. Um, yeah, 1 John 3, 4. Oh, and it asks, um, oh, I'm trying to remember. I wrote down a, a list of things I'm going to say. Um, I have a bunch of stock footage that I, I'm going to film. Now, I don't know if I call it stock footage because it's me who's filming it. So I'd say B-roll. I have a bunch of B-roll I'm going to film for it. I need to find two talents to film. Um, yeah, and that's what the shot list is going through. What, what I'm going to be shooting. How I'm going to be bringing this, me bringing this message across to um, everyone who's watching. And yeah, it's... It's, it's asking these questions like are we getting enough out of scripture and do we know how to fight the enemy with what we read in scripture and do we know that um, when we hear things from other people maybe our peers they could be believers or non-believers how do we know they're lying or how do we know if they're telling the truth or if they if they're, what they're telling us is accurate you know um, are we digging through scripture to find out if what they're saying lines up with what God is saying and the advice they give and the things we get from this world um the things we get from living in this world, everything we, we absorb, all the voices we hear in this world are, do we know what's truth and what isn't? Are we digging enough into God's word to be able to discern between what God says and what the enemy is saying and whispering to us? I also go over um, what we miss out on when we neglect to dig into God's word and what we receive when we when we choose to to listen to God and do what He says, um, you know there is so much in the Bible that we miss out on when we choose not to dig into it. There's a lot, and when we lean on our own understanding, it tends not to go the best direction because God knows better. He He created you, and He's seen the end of time, and you're and your time before you even saw before you were even here so yeah he'd know what's best for you and when you lean on his understanding things go a lot better those are some of the basic things that this video talks about and it is going to question a lot it's going to bring questions to you and questions to your faith are, are you living it out are you walking as yeshua walked are you having your faith with works are you being a hearer and a doer of the word so i just um i pray that the message that i'm going to give with this video hits the right spot with the right people and that i can pull it off and that people won't hear me talking to them but they will hear his voice and not mine that's why it's titled his voice we're supposed to drown out what the world is telling us and just like focus on him because he knows what's best and he knows what's better and when we give our lives and our trust to him, um, our paths are made straight. So thank you for your time. Uh, I hope to post more videos soon. And I just, that's it. Uh, maybe I will upload this to YouTube. I don't know. But I'm working on a parody this Sunday. I, I have it recorded. I'm going to be filming it this Sunday, hopefully. See how much we get done. I hope we can just, like, film it and be done that day. That'd be great. Traveling, like, three hours to go film it somewhere. So, Bray. Bray. Bray goes well. All right, guys. Happy Yom Teruah. Shalom.